Brittany Smith is Nova Scotia's rising star with several awards under her belt already at the age of 24, including Artist of the Year at the 2015 Ansma Awards. She's currently in the studio recording a highly anticipated album, and we're welcoming her into the Village Sound Studio basement right now. Welcome, Rini. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Um, so it's been a while since you put out an album. Mm-hmm. Um, when when was your last album? Um, I believe it was 2015. Okay, great. Yeah, that makes sense. She won the award. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> My math skills are great. Um, so what has been happening since then? Um, a lot's been happening since then. Um, I think since the last record, my music has definitely uh, changed a, mm-hmm. a bit. Um, that's from, you know, writing with, with new people and uh, more people joining my circle and just, yeah. just exploring different different things and, and trying to really, really move forward with my music. Um, also, it's been a lot of shows, a, a lot of good stuff happening. Uh, last year was the Artist in Residence at Casino oh, Nova yeah. Scotia, so... It's been a it's been a fun ride doing lots of shows and, and just trying to have fun. <laughs> um, so you said that you were doing some co writing. You've been writing with some new people, right? Absolutely. Um, you, I know that you went to the Gordy Sampson Song Camp. Mm-hmm. Uh, how was that experience for you? Uh, that was amazing. Yeah. Uh, most of the people there I'd already known mm-hmm. uh, from doing other shows or just being at events. So uh, it was actually cool to to be able to go out there up in Inganish and. Uh, get together and write some songs and build some stronger friendships. And I think I have a few good writing buddies in the future that I can call on for the next project. So I'm awesome. I'm just happy that I had the chance to go and to really connect with other Nova Scotian artists. Cool. Um, so what's the first song you're going to play for us? The first song I'm going to play is called Is It Too Late? This is a song that I wrote uh, with a few new friends in Toronto uh, last summer. Mm-hmm. And it's quickly become one of my favorite songs to perform. Uh, yeah. Is there a backstory to it? There's no backstory. <laughs> it's just sometimes, you know, that you got one song and it's yeah. just, oh, it's my favorite song. <laughs> it's your own song. It's kind of corny. but All right. That's fine. You can take it away. All right. Your heart was far ahead of mine. I just caught up How long ago did you decide That I was the one It's something we should talk about So there's no mistake What made you fall so hard for me to make you change but is it too late or is it too soon how will i know if you love me too is it too
That was beautiful. Thank you. Um, cool. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, so you're working on a new you're working on a new album, um, and now my brain is exploding from that song. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you're working on a new album. Um, do you have your own? You have your a home studio. I do. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have parents who are probably my number one fans yeah. and uh, <laughs> invested in a studio for me and my oh, brother and sister. And we go down there, we, we create and record and write. And it's a huge blessing to be able to do that in your own home. You know, you yeah. don't have to worry about uh, paying rent. <laughs> don't worry, Dad, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like parents just keep a tab. I know, right? The they're just it. they're just waiting. They're just like waiting for a certain age where they're like, okay, it's time to collect. We want every every cent back. <laughs> no way. Right. I can't imagine. That'd be hilarious. Um, do, are you working with anybody on this album? Or? Um, yeah, I've, I've worked with a, a few people actually. Um, there's a song, Last Call, which was my single that was out last year. Um, I wrote that at the Gordy Sampson songwriter oh, yeah, right camp on. and uh, finished it up with Corey LaRue and Dylan Guthrow oh, nice. and got Quake Matthews to join me on, on that project. So it was fun working with those guys. Um, worked with a few producers out of Toronto. Uh, the last song that we just heard, Is It Too Late? That was done in, in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And um, good friend uh, from Cleveland, Ohio, who's been doing a lot of producing on this project as well. So, oh, wow. Yeah, a few hands here and there, and everything's coming together. And I'm really excited for everybody to hear the project. That's awesome. Um, what style do you feel like you're going towards? Um, it's definitely more so uh, R and B and pop yeah. kind of. Um, that's the main, the main, main two themes of the album. Awesome. Two two genres. So yeah, it's kind of kind of different, but I'm I'm excited about it. It's everything sounding really good, and it's fun. <laughs> cool. Uh, what's the next song that you're gonna play for us? Uh, the next song is called When Are You Lonely? And do you have a story for that one? Um, I think it was actually the first song I ever co-wrote. Okay, right so on. Who did you write that one with? I actually wrote it with, uh, oh my goodness, Carlton Stone okay. and Stephen McDougal. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. They're, they're two solid dudes to All write right. a song with. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, cool. You can take it away. All right. Sleepless 
That's awesome. Thank you. Um, cool. I'm really excited to hear your new album. I can't wait for it to come out. Do you have a do you have a timeline? Um timeline is <laughs> early spring. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. It was my pleasure.